How to increase bone strength. Build strong bones. Characterized by weak and brittle bones, osteoporosis and its precursor osteopenia affect 44 million Americans and lead to more than 2 million bone fractures every year, according to the American Academy of Orthopedic Surgeons. There's a lot you can do to keep your bones strong and lower your risk of osteoporosis. It's never too early to start. Think of your bones as a retirement savings account. You need to bank a lot of funds when you're young so that you have plenty to draw upon as you get older. Bones reach peak density by the early 30s, according to the Mayo Clinic. From then on, your job is to keep those levels up by getting enough calcium and vitamin D, exercising, and taking other steps. Know your T-score. Osteoporosis is often called a silent disease because you won't display obvious outward symptoms until a bone breaks, obviously not a sign you want to wait for. A bone mineral density BMD, test can tell you how strong your bones are. The results of this test are given as a number called the T-score. Your doctor can combine your T-score with other risk factors like your age and gender to determine your actual risk of breaking a bone in the next 10 years. Milk it. Milk is full of calcium, the foundation of healthy bones, and vitamin D helps the body absorb calcium. Additionally, vitamin D helps build and repair bones and keeps muscles strong, which reduces the risk of falls. Women age 50 and younger and men age 70 and younger should aim for 1000 mg of calcium per day, according to the National Osteoporosis Foundation. Older men and women should aim for 1,200 mg of calcium a day. This is the equivalent of about 4 glasses of non-fat milk or 3 cups of non-fat yogurt. Men and women under the age of 50 should aim to consume 400 to 800 year of vitamin D per day. People over the age of 50 should aim for 1,000 year of vitamin D daily. Don't smoke. Smoking increases the rate of bone loss. Women who smoke have lower levels of estrogen and tend to hit menopause at a younger age, both of which accelerate bone loss. Limit drinking. If you drink, keep it to no more than two drinks a day for men and one drink a day for women. Anything more will interfere with your body's ability to absorb calcium and will also slow new bone formation, according to the Mayo Clinic. Meat in moderation. The popular saying, all things in moderation, definitely applies to meat, especially when it comes to healthy bones. Calcium and phosphorus help the body digest animal protein. Eating too much red meat, fish, pork, and poultry can sap these resources from the bone. On the other hand, protein deficiency hinders calcium absorption in the intestines. The solution? Limit your animal protein intake to no more than twice a day, and eat small portions about 3 ounces, or the size of a deck of cards. Ask mom and dad. Genetic traits determine a lot of factors that affect your overall bone health, including your bone size, bone mass, when you'll go through menopause, and how well your body uses calcium and vitamin D. These traits are passed down from father to son, and mother to daughter. By knowing your family history, you can take appropriate steps to intervene, including earlier screening for osteoporosis and use of appropriate medications. Cut back on sodium. Too much sodium causes calcium to leach out of your bones and then be expelled through the urine, according to the Cleveland Clinic. To keep more calcium in your bones, Follow a low-sodium diet by cutting down on processed foods and keeping this old shaker off the table. Stay active. Weight-bearing exercises, activities that force you to work against gravity, strengthen bone by stimulating bone-building cells called osteoblasts. High-impact exercises like running, tennis, basketball, and kickboxing strengthen bones the fastest. Flex those muscles. Every time you flex your muscles, tendons tug on your bones stimulating them to grow. Therefore, any exercise that helps build muscle, lifting weights, using resistance bands, doing yoga will also help build bone density and strength. 
you don't even have to leave your house. Just strap on one or two pounds wrist and ankle weights while doing chores at home. Another plus, strong muscles improve your balance and coordination so you're less likely to fall. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and share this video.